Happy Easter and welcome back to uh, a triumphant victory in this journey. The last time that you and I were together, we were here celebrating the gift of Holy Week and celebrating the gift of the cross where the bridegroom, Jesus Christ, has given himself to us as the bride. That gap between us and God that was there because of the fall has been healed and the great wedding communion, the marriage communion between humanity and God has been restored because of Jesus Christ and his love for us on the cross. And so I say to you, happy Easter. Our hearts are filled with joy. We celebrate the fact that Jesus Christ has fulfilled his promise. He made a promise to his mother. He made a promise to Peter. He made a promise to Mary Magdalene and all of his followers that, that even though he would lay down his life freely, that he would beat death as he will rise from the dead. And he has fulfilled that promise because Jesus is faithful to his promises. And that's important because the journey that you and I have been on has taken us to Jerusalem. But now that we find ourselves in Easter, it continues after Lent for the rest of your life. And as you or I are on the journey of life with Jesus, there are going to be moments in our lives where he might feel closer to us at some points than he does at other points. There'll be times when we can hear his voice and sometimes when we can't. There'll be times when we can feel his presence and sometimes he might feel distant. You see, in the journey of life where there are ups and downs and ebbs and flows, you and I might struggle to be faithful to him, but he is never unfaithful to us. He's faithful. He's, he promised that he would be with us and he's going to be with us. On behalf of all of us here at Ascension, we just wanna say happy Easter and what a privilege it has been for us to walk with you on this journey. We ask that you continue to pray for us so that we can be in line with what God wants us to do in serving people like you and pray that God continues to open up your heart every day, continues to walk with you every day and continues to show his fidelity to you every day. I'd like to bless you as we conclude our journey together and ask that all of the graces that have been poured forth on you in these last 46 days would be sealed now with an Easter blessing. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, I ask that you would pour forth your blessings upon our minds, that we might know your mysteries. Bless our ears that we would hear your voice. Bless our eyes that we might see your face. Bless our lips that we might speak your praise. Bless our hearts that we might know your love. Bless our hands that we may serve you well, our feet that we may walk in your path. And may you pour forth blessings upon all in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Happy Easter.